What's up everybody, Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax and today I'm jumping back into another buy, sell, or hold video where I compile different types of data to determine whether it is a good time to buy, sell, or hold a specific prospect. In this episode, we're going to be looking at Bobby Witt Jr., a 21-year-old shortstop prospect with the Kansas City Royals. Before we get going, if you guys enjoy my videos, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my new content. So I spent the last few days digging pretty deep into Bobby Witt's 2021 stats, and I found some pretty extraordinary anomalies that go way beyond a simple stat line. But I'm sure there are some viewers out there who aren't too familiar with Bobby Witt Jr. So here's a quick and basic breakdown. Witt was the second overall pick behind Adley Rushman in the 2019 MLB Draft. And he signed with the Kansas City Royals for an astonishing $7.9 billion. He's a five-tool player that is a lock to stay at shortstop. Witt made his minor league debut in 2019 at the age of 19 in rookie ball, where his performance was a bit lackluster. Through 180 plate appearances, Witt hit 262 with a .091 ISO, only one home run, nine stolen bases, and a pretty good K rate at 19.4. Although the 2020 MILB season was canceled, he trained at the Royals alternate site where he competed against other top prospects and faced the best arms in the organization. This year, Bobby Witt Jr. has been on an offensive binge that started in big league spring training and is still going right now through AAA playoffs. The 21-year-old split time in AA and AAA this year, hitting 292 with a crazy 299 ISO, 32 home runs, 26 stolen bases, and a quality 23.5% K rate through 526 plate appearances. His offensive numbers this season are very special, so let's dig in and find out why. His insane 299 ISO P lands him 10th in upper level single season ISO since 2006. Some notable names on that list are Chris Bryant, Paul Goldschmidt, Jordan Alvarez, Giancarlo Stanton, and Ryan Braun. Witt is also the only shortstop on that top 10 list. Another fun fact, out of all 10 players in the minor leagues this year with 30 plus home runs, Bobby Witt Jr. has the highest batting average, the most stolen bases, and again, he is the only true shortstop. Another crazy offensive stat, he is the first player under the age of 22 to hit 30 plus home runs with a batting average above 290 since Austin Hayes did it in 2017. So when I'm trying to find all these statistical outliers, I love using Fangraph's minor league leaderboards. I'll put a link in the description so y'all can check it out. It is a great tool. The leaderboard only goes back to 2006, and since then, Witt is the first shortstop under 22 with a batting average of 290 or higher with 30 plus home runs. The closest comparison was Javier Baez in 2013. Baez was 20 years old and played over two levels, high A and double A, in which he had 37 home runs with a 282 batting average in 577 plate appearances. And like I said, I could only go back as far as 2006. It may have been over two decades since someone has done something so remarkable. Here's yet another statistical anomaly. Bobby Witt Jr. only needs two more stolen bases over the course of the AAA playoff run to become the seventh minor leaguer in the past 20 years to have 30 home runs and 30 stolen bases in a single season. Some other names on that list you may have heard of before. Kyle Tucker, Lewis Robert, Jock Peterson, George Springer, Grant Desme, Terry Evans, and they're all outfielders, not shortstops. So I looked really, really hard, and I tried to find some sort of stat that I didn't like with Bobby Wood Jr. The best I could come up with was his 24% K rate in AA, which would be considered below average. If you look at this next clip, you can see Witt actually dropped his K percentage by almost 1% and increased his walk percentage by 0.3% following his promotion to AAA. Now, I know these are not great improvements, but there was no digression across the two levels. Another reason I'm not really worried about the K percentage is his swing. First, his load and gather phase is very quiet with minimal wasted movement. Witt is also a very short levered hitter with quick hands that produce some significant bat whip. His approach may need some fine tuning once he reaches the major league level, but I think the swing will really play. So here's a video of a swing on a home run hit last week. 
I replayed it a few times so you can see for yourself what I'm talking about. The final bit of research I did to make my decision had to do with price point. I found current comps of Trevor Story, Bobby Witt, and Fernando Tatis Jr. I would personally give Bobby Witt Jr. a Trevor Story floor and maybe a better than Tatis ceiling. So the prices are there to reflect two directions that his prices could possibly go. I gathered comps on first chromes, PSA 10 chromes, first chrome autos, and first chrome PSA 10 autos. Bobby Witt Jr. Bowman Chrome first autos are selling for around $700 right now. If his future is Trevor Story, you could stand to lose around $500. But if he goes closer to his Fernando Tatis Jr. ceiling, you could make around $1,300. Okay, so that's just about the extent of digging I did with Bobby Witt Jr. It's time to see if we should buy, sell, or hold. So here are the results. Coming in third place with a score of 2 out of 10 is sell. I gave sell a score of 2 out of 10 for three reasons. Number one, wit's value is driven by performance rather than hype, which creates a higher floor value. Second, he will most likely break camp with the big league club following spring training, which will slightly increase his value. And my third reason is because baseball season is almost over, and all baseball card prices seem to trend down in value this time of year. Coming in at second with a score of 6 out of 10 is buy. I still think there is plenty of room for growth with his cards. I would have ranked buying higher, but his values have significantly increased since the release of 2020 Bowman. Coming in at first place with a score of 9 out of 10 is hold. If you gobbled up a bunch of Bobby Wood Jr. before the start of 2021 spring training, you are in the driver's seat of a Ferrari. Not only have his values more than doubled since then, they will continue to climb when he makes his debut in 2022. Bobby Witt has all of the attributes to be a superstar, and I think it is only a matter of time before that happens. So be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you buying, selling, or holding? Be sure to check out my channel and my other videos. I also have a Facebook group called Let's Talk Wax, Baseball Card Prospecting. I'll put a link in the description. And finally, again, if you guys enjoyed my content, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Everybody have a great night.